Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shante Maria, just back with another quick video. And um, look, sis Cardi B, I love Cardi B, for real, I love her. But um, she, you know, she always gets into her little political mode and she speaks on how she feel. Like she voices on um, pretty much anything that she feels, she, she'll say it. Um, And she's definitely been in a political um mindset. For years and we, we've seen this happen over and over again and but I definitely feel you know everything she's saying like I agree with what she's saying <laughs> like so she keep went in about the coronavirus you know I share my thoughts about it and opinions a little bit on my page um but let's just hear her kind of speak on social distancing and um just her views on that and what the government should be doing with 45 should be doing but we it ain't gonna happen sounds good and actually um just a message to other celebrities and how confusing they are making it to the rest of the world and people that look up to them and because you know they have a lot of influence they have a huge voice out here in our community so we definitely i mean as far well i'm gonna get into what she said i'm gonna let her speak but um i agree I'll I'll leave it at that. I, it's so much confusing about the coronavirus, and a lot of it comes from the media, the media, and what people are seeing. That's why it's so confusing right now. Anyways, here she go. Hey guys, so I just wanna uh, do this video, right? Long ass motherfucking video, and let y'all motherfuckers know something. Sometimes I get on my live and I be talking my crazy shit, you know, entertaining my fans. And people might just take what I say and just run with it and say what the fuck it is. Or not. And I really want to let uh, these celebrity know I really want why the confusion that um, the general public have, right? And the questionings that the general public have. Because if number 45 is getting on a podium saying, hey, listen, if you do not have any symptoms of the coronavirus, which is coughing, fever and whatsoever etc etc do not get tested because we don't have enough uh testes to test everybody but if a celebrity is saying hey listen i don't have no symptoms i'm feeling good i feel healthy i don't feel like nothing but i went and got tested and i'm positive for the coronavirus that caused confusion that made people be like well wait a minute now uh I don't have no symptoms, but I know I went out this and that day. Shit, I might just have it. Shit, I'm scared because I'm around my kid. I'm around my grandparents. What should I do? And let me tell you something. The the general public, people that work regular jobs, people that get regular paychecks, the middle class, the, you know, poor, whatever the crap, they're not getting, they not getting treated like, 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 like the high, you know, the ones that up here, like celebrities and everything, they're not getting their fucking coronavirus results the next day. That's one. I, the coronavirus is very much real. That's first thing first. And let me tell you something. If you're under 30, right? If you're under 30, because I know somebody that's under 30 has a cold, and they told them if your cold is not for eight days, you, you cannot get tested. So you got to be sick for eight days if you're under 30, so you could be eligible of getting a fucking coronavirus test. Now, if you're like... In your 40s, 50s, 60s, and you having a cold, they're going to test you right away. However, your test results will come in four days. And let me tell you something. They tell you this. If you are positive for the coronavirus, they will tell you to quarantine in your home or and come back on if your fever goes 100 and some shit degrees. And I do not feel like that's right because it's like if you're positive for the coronavirus, but you don't have a crazy fever, but you have a cold and you're sending people home. I don't know. I, I, where, where do they think they're sending people home to? Not everybody have the luxury to go in a fucking bedroom and to go in a big ass house and just stay away from people. People live in small ass apartments. A lot of people live in small ass apartments with multiple people. So it's like, if you're sending me home and I have the corona fucking virus, I'm most likely gonna give it to my, my spouse, my kids, anybody that's around me. And on top of that, a lot, a lot of celebrities, y'all have the luxury to pay $34,000 or whatever the fuck it costs to get tested and get treated. A lot of these people, they don't fucking have that money. Some people don't even, don't even have enough money to fucking have, to, to fucking afford health care. 
And I feel like all this shit, I feel like for coronavirus treatments, uh, for, for testing, for all that shit, I feel like the government should take that shit to put, charge that shit to the game and not charge people for it because at the end of the day, this shit could have been prevented when they find out about this shit a couple of months ago and the shit that was doing in China. The fuck? It shouldn't be charging no motherfucking uh, Medicaid, health insurance, none of that shit. This is y'all fault that got in this motherfucking country. Y'all could have been avoided this shit. A month ago, everybody was saying that the, it, it's fine. This shit ain't that serious. Now look. Look at that. And that's my point. Bye. Oh, I'm hot. So yeah, that's um her thoughts on it. And like hey guys, I, said, I, I just wanna uh, do this video, right? Said. Long ass um, motherfucking video, and let y'all. So basically, up. basically, it is some confusion because we watch celebrities get tested and they find out fast. They be like, "Oh, I don't have no symptoms, but I was exposed." But then you watch CNN, which I said take a break from CNN. Oh. Don't go in unless you have symptoms. But it's like, oh, even if you have symptoms, which is like a cold, a cold is a symptom. They're like, oh, well, don't come in unless it's severe. Like you can't breathe. You got a fever for days. You know what I mean? It's just <sighs> media, man. It's the media. It's the media. And then because people, we're, we're seeing celebrities that don't have symptom, symptoms get tested and they have it you know of course if we don't have or we have a slight um, symptom like a cough you know people are freaking out right now people coughing and they're freaking out right now like because naturally you want to catch it you know ahead of time but that's not how it's working right now um you know because if, if it's the cold the cold will probably pass in a few days but then what if it's not the cold i gotta wait some dinner and dying to go to the hospital it's just it's crazy. Um, be safe. It's real. I still have my thoughts about it. Um, clearly, I really think, you know, just staying away, staying in your homes. Like, you know, they're asking us to do, be clean, um, just practice normal hygiene and not even that, but be boosting your immune system. I think a lot of people are missing that. Like right now, um, I'm prone to get colds a lot. I normally get colds a lot. Well, I used to. <laughs> but then, I mean, I learned that I got to take my damn vitamins. I take my vitamins. If I feel a cold coming on, I take like a shot of ACV. I drink my teas. Um, I, I, on top of taking a multivitamin, I'll um, just take straight up vitamin C pills. Um, you know what I mean? You do stuff to help like So if I feel a cold coming on, I attack it quickly. And I'm normally good within like a day or two. I don't never really get, you know, just down, down sick. But um, I don't know. Just be safe. Be mindful. Don't freak out. Um, we we going to be all right. We'll get through this. Peace. And thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.